welcome back to the vlog and back to here in sunny Spain. This morning I've ridden over to see the girls from Cannes Basso, one of only two elite professional UCI continental teams here in Britain, or in Britain I should say. So the team are out here on their training camp for the next week or so as they prepare for their first stage race of the year, which is coming this weekend called the Valencia Setmana stage race. It's televised, it's a big deal for the team. So we're on a course right here with the team so that they know what to expect. How's the training camp be going? Yeah, really good actually. What are we on now? Like day six? Yeah. So we had a nice little coffee spin yesterday. Pretty um, good. So legs feeling a bit fresher today, which is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm pretty solid, strong bunch. And nice Did to be you? out in Spain, I bet. Oh yeah. After a few months of God, British yeah. winter. <laughs> minus degree. I think it's actually like in the minuses back home at the moment. Really? So it's pretty so, good though. So 16 degrees feels okay. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> I might take these arm warmers off soon actually. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on, Simon. <laughs> Bit of a pre-race wreck here today is it? Yeah it's great so we're covering the whole stage from start to finish uh, nice sort of flat fast start and then right into the hill so it's a uh, good for the riders good practice for the um coming to the start line getting used to getting ready preparing exactly. and then going off on the ride. How many, how many hours roughly today or how Probably, many k's? Yeah it's a 112 k okay. stage okay. so we're looking just over three hours. Seen the second half yet so we'll see how that uh, we think gets harder. Probably a bit more hilly. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. There's a few more climbs. It's not the hilliest stage. It's um, yeah. There, there's a climb just before the finish and a fast ascent into the finish before a, a town centre sprint, really. So um, awesome. yeah, it's uh, gonna be good. How are the new signings getting on this year? We've got a bit of a shake up this year, haven't we? Yeah, we've had a sort of a 50% re, uh, reshuffle, really. So six, seven new riders. It's great. We've got a 13 rider squad. A good mixture. Some you know good crit riders, good sprinters, and some riders who can ride well in the climbs. Yeah, I mean it's still early February. You know, it's still got a, but it's still you know we're here in the sunshine, blue skies. To have a camp where you race, have a camp, and then. And then and have a four-day stage race is great for everybody. So, so well, she says hola to every yes, person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lunch time in the team car. Busy day, busy day. <laughs> Sandwiches. Hard pizza, life. Go. Hard life, mate. Sunshine. <laughs> windows down. Becky, second year on the team, right? Yeah, second year. First full season. Full season of racing, as opposed to the last two years right yeah pretty much I'm excited it's gonna be busy so I'm looking forward to getting stuck in tell us about the week you've just had yeah we've uh, had some good miles in it's nice to ride all together as a team because we don't obviously apart from races yeah we don't get to get together yeah we're ticking off the miles and ready to get the season started I saw on social media you did one hell of a time up the, the most famous climb here probably <laughs> called the rats right yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, that was fun. It was my first time um, going up there. Oh, so you never ridden it before? No, I've never ridden it before. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen that many cyclists on one climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Was it almost like a constant stream of yeah. people to overtake? Yeah, it was just, well, that's what I ended up doing. It was just wheel to wheel, like, <laughs> oh my God, there's so-and-so. <laughs> it was amazing. Where did you get on the... I was fourth. Fourth? Fourth, yeah. All time? All time. Oh. I think it was quite close, so I need to, might need to go back. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> Do you know how how, many, how far off? 15 seconds. Because you got that. Yeah. Lose a water bottle, that's, that's 10 yeah. seconds. <laughs> and a saddlebag and everything else. <laughs> yep. Flying, Danny. That was a nice little climb, isn't it? <laughs> what efforts did you have up there? You left us uh, with dead. Did a 12 minute, like three minute threshold, one minute above, times three, and just ramped up a little bit. Very good, very good. Good fun, <laughs> two more to go. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting started today, aren't we? Yeah. So the race that the team are doing is called the Valencia Setmana. And I think it's a four day stage race. It's very hilly. So the team has selected a, a, a mixed group of riders, including Becky, who we just spoke to, who, as she said, got fourth up the rats. An extremely impressive time. And probably one to look out for on the hilly stages of this race. We are two hours into this one today. And because it is a race, a lot of the roads that we've been sticking to today are slightly wider so that they can fit a huge peloton on and avoid those little windy little roads that may cause crashes. Also, it's really cool. In the last month or so, I've had a load of new subscribers. So if you are new, welcome to the channel. And you also would have missed me previously talking about cams 
who I work for outside of what I do here on YouTube. Cam's are the title sponsor of this team. And so part of my job is to join the team throughout the year and also to spread the news of what CAMS is. They are cycle accident injury lawyers, which means that if you do have an accident whilst out on the roads, that wasn't your fault. There's a claim there to be made and CAMS will have your back. Since I started working with CAMS, there's been quite a few of you guys who've had successful claims through CAMS and got the money that you deserve. Whether you're out and you get hit by a car or a, or a pothole, whatever it may be, and they all do their best to get you back on the bike and get you what you deserve. So if you have had an accident or know anyone who has, please click the link in the description below. Yeah, anyway, back to the video. Just dropping stuff all over the road, Danny. Ooh, all for the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you got a team car, eh? Yeah, I know. De denied of your snacks, Katie. I know. <laughs> They're starving me. <laughs> Getting lean for this race. Exactly. Can you tell us about your um, your form because your coach has been posting about your 20 minute test the other day. Yeah, so obviously the uh, road season finished pretty late. Didn't have the best of seasons last year, but worked hard over the winter. I was yeah. out in Calpe for a couple of weeks in January. Yeah. And I'm feeling pretty good, just getting in the, all the base miles. And on camp, yeah, it's been pretty good. Obviously set quite a very decent 20 minute power, so. Very good. Yeah, feeling. Can't disguise the number, top secret, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> everyone here knows, but. Okay. Yeah, it's alright. Not for the viewers at home. to the top of this, hopefully the last climber today, it's 5k, made it to a little town called Barks. The nicest view. We some advice. Um, yeah, that's life advice. Oh, life advice? Yeah. And what have you got lined up for this year? Have you got any, any goals? I've got quite a big track-based goal year, I suppose, for myself. Like really focusing on team pursuit. Um, coming into two years to go to Paris. Awesome. Olympics, so. Um, in terms of my road program fitting around that a lot of crits um which should be good i think like post covid the crit scene this year will be back to normal so yeah yeah there should be loads i think yeah a full tour series schedule and then all the national series awesome. so really they're my aims and having won what two out of the three tour series last year yeah you must be feeling confident coming into it i'm not a very confident person um, no, <laughs> no. I try, I need to try to be. Um, like, I wasn't confident going into the third round after winning the second round. That's just what I'm like for some reason. So, um, another goal for me this year should be to be more confident. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> back when everyone's springing for the town sign. Yep, uh, <laughs> just drifted at the back. <laughs> yeah. Good ride though, right? Yeah, it was mega. The last like hour was so good. Really nice climbs. They're not too aggressive. Yeah. The worst of it's on the hairpin and then exactly. pretty flowy. Made it back to the town that we started in this morning. Course recce done. And the really, really beautiful 120k on very quiet roads, not too much climbing, being stage one, easing the race, easing uh, easing the riders into the race. But you can be sure, being the Tour of Valencia, there will be some hilly stages to come. Are we lost? Ran up to four hours. Oh, I see. <laughs> Getting the keys. Is that right? It's so cute. <laughs> Although I'm actually on 482. Oh, oh yeah. what, what have you been doing? You just said you got, I you said you got high. You no, I didn't. 52. <laughs> Did you miss us? Yeah. <laughs> what have you been up to? Um, 
Well, actually got you down to the finish line, had a few things set up, went for a walk around the road, nice. had some lunch, had a drink. <laughs> Almost a Superman. Almost. I you like the frog. You've been practicing that? Yeah. Around <laughs> Richard <Rich and> Park. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not tell? Yeah. Oh, that was great. Four hours on four, the nose. Four hours? On the nose. Amazing. That'll do. That'll do.